In previous lecture, I already discussed universal quantifier and existential quantifier. Universal quantifier can be represented by this symbol and existential by this. Now, uniqueness quantifier, it is same as existential quantifier with one exclamatory or you can add simply one. So, existential quantifier with one exclamatory or one is for uniqueness quantifier. In case of universal quantifier, it should be true for all x value. In case of existential quantifier, it should be true for at least one x or more than one x. And in case of uniqueness quantifier, it should true for exactly one x value. So the notation uniqueness quantifier x p x or there exist one x p x state that there exist a unique x such that p x is true. So for single x value p x is true. There is a unique x for which it is true. But in case of existential for one x or more x it is true. We can also read as there is exactly one, there is one and only one. Let's see one example. There exists one x such that x minus one equals to zero. Where the domain is the set of real number. So it states that there is a unique real number x such that x minus one is zero. Yes, for x value equals to one, one minus one is zero. So this is true. So there exists a unique x such that x minus 1 is 0. So for there exists unique x, x minus 1 equals to 0 is true. Even if it will be there exists x, x minus 1 equals to 0, this is also true. There exists symbol means at least 1x or more than 1x. So for 1x value it is true means there exist x also true or there exist one x also true both are true but for all x this is false for all x x minus 1 equals to 0 this is false so for all x means it should true for all value of x only for x equals to 1 it is true for x equals to 2 it is false or for x any other value it is false so universal quantifier is false whereas Existential quantifier and uniqueness quantifier, it is true. Next is quantifier with restricted domain. Let's see some example. For all x less than 0, x square greater than 0. Then for all y not equals to 0, y q not equals to 0. Then there exists a z greater than 0, z square equals to 2. Let's see one by one. First one. For all x less than 0, x square greater than 0. This is true. For all x less than 0 means it's negative and negative square is positive. It's same as there exists x, x value less than 0 implies x square is greater than 0. Next second one, for all y not equals to 0, y q not equals to 0. So when y value is 0, then its cube is 0. So the cube of every non-zero real number is non-zero. We can write as for all y, y equals to zero implies y q equals to zero. So when y value is zero, y q is zero. And when y value not equals to zero, y q not equals to zero. Next, there exists z greater than zero, z square equals to two. When z value will be root two, then z square equals to 2. Just mark this symbol. It's existential quantifier. Existential quantifier means there should be at least one z for which it is true. So for z equals to root 2, it is true. Means this is true. We can write as there exists z, z greater than 0 and z square equals to 2. So when z value is greater than 0 and z square equals to 2, means z equals to root 2. Next, precedence of quantifier. Universal quantifier and existential quantifier have higher precedence than logical operator in propositional calculus. So, propositions with logical operator are propositional calculus, whereas predicate and quantifier are in 
predicate calculus. So for example, for all x, px or qx, this for all x have higher priority, higher precedence than this or symbol. So first we will execute this for all x, px, then or with qx. It's not same as for all x, px or qx. Means first we will do the or, then we will evaluate the universal quantifier. This is wrong. First we will evaluate the universal quantifier, then we will do the or. So universal quantifier have higher precedency over or, or we can say disjunction. Universal and existential quantifier have higher precedency over all logical operators. Next, binding variable. So when a quantifier use a variable, we can say this bind this variable or we can say that variable is bound. An occurrence of a variable that is not bound by the quantifier is called as free. And the part of the logical expression to which quantifier is applied is called the scope of the quantifier. And to which it is not applied is not in scope. So a variable is free if it is outside the scope of a quantifier in the formula that specify the variable. Let's see one example. There exists x, x plus y equals to 1. So there exists x. That's why this x is bound and y is free. y is not bound by the quantifier and no value is assigned for this variable. So we can say y is free. Let's see another statement. There exists x, p, x and q, x or for all x, r, x. So this there exists x, its scope is up to px and qx not for rx and this for all x scope is up to rx so here px qx rx all are bound next logical equivalence involving quantifier i already discussed some logical equivalence in previous topic that is propositional equivalence here also you can find logical equivalence involving quantifier so statement involving predicate and quantifier are logical equivalent if and only if they have the same truth value. No matter which predicate, which quantifier, what is the domain, if they have same truth value then they are logical equivalent. So we can write by using this symbol three lines or we also use this two line and this. So both are used for logical equivalence. So for example, for all x, p, x and q, x that is equivalent to for all x, p, x and for all x, q, x. So this universal quantifier is for both p, x and q, x. So we can add universal quantifier with each predicates. Like for all x is for p, x also for q, x. So this is also applied for or symbol even existence of quantifier is also applied for and and or symbol. In today lecture I discussed uniqueness quantifier, quantifier with restriction, precedence of quantifier, then binding, then logical equivalence involving quantifier. In next lecture I will discuss how we can use negation in quantifier. If today lecture is helpful for you please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.